Hey you guys, welcome back to Love for Plants. Today we are going to tackle repotting my photos. Um, it's grown all summer out on the front porch. I've taken it down already. We have some huge vines, um, several. Try to lift them up so you guys can see them. Um, I took it down two days ago, sprayed it off. Um, took some cuttings off of it because I have a friend that wants some. So her hanging pot is now ready. Uh, the ones in the center were small cuttings I made about a month ago, so they're rooted. Uh, the long ones I just cut, so they're not rooted yet. So she'll get that as soon as those root. Um, but that's all from the same plant. Let me put that over here. Now I'm rerooting this pot or repotting this plant because we're so thick in here that I'm getting a ton of yellow leaves, um, which means either my soil is depleted of nutrients or it's just not getting enough sun right now. So we have this post in here. I actually, when I did this, I have it cemented in a uh, terracotta pot in the bottom, so I can't just pull it out. We are gonna have to just work and work and work and get this whole pot out. And then my plan is to take my Swiss cheese plant and put this on the post put that in the put this in that pot um so that's what we got going on today so bear with me as we try to tackle this project so first of all i just need to kind of get some of my stems moved around i really don't want to break the big ones i'm sure i'm going to break a couple though a couple stems hopefully not my big ones and I'll probably turn this into two or three different pots um, because it's just big, which I love. Um, but winter's coming, so they need to go in the house. And it's just too big to stay in my house. So I think what I'm going to do, there's gaps in here. I know you can't see it. <laughs> I'm going to try to pull it out. That's not working. Um, another option I always do with some of my other plants is flip it sideways. And we're just going to work this dirt out. I'm just going to drop it right on the porch. Definitely some thick roots in here because I can't even get on the side. So if you're tackling a project like this, make sure you have plenty of time to get it done. Don't rush yourself. Let's see if I can just pull this whole thing out. Oh, nope. Oh, I can. Okay. This will make it so much easier. Hopefully. Let's see if I can get my hand in there without it falling. Woo, bud. Look at these roots. Let me walk up here. That is amazing. We definitely have a lot of work ahead. So, put this up here. Now I'm just going to go through, try to remove some dirt and get this separated. It's definitely a project I've been holding off for so long because I knew it was going to be a lot of work. Pretty much I'm just taking my hands and I'm just kind of kneading through the dirt. probably a good thing I'm repotting this into different pots because it's, it's getting root bound. There's still some good dirt in here. Um, so it made it for, a, I don't know, maybe another month or so the way it's growing. And when you guys do this, you are going to break roots and you're probably going to break some stems off. Don't freak out. Just take your time. Pry this apart. There we go. Whew. Now this work. This is good work though. Let's see if I can just get this post. Alright, the post is loose. Like I said, I cemented this post into the terracotta pot and then I darted around it so that I didn't have to worry about the um, the post falling over. 
it worked really well. All right. So now let the separation begin. Like I said, just take your time. You'll see at the end, I'm gonna break a lot of stuff off probably by accident. It is okay. I just prefer not to break my big stems if I don't have to. I'm just gonna kind of push it. See if I can get it to separate a little bit. Glad I watered it last night. It's making this a lot easier. Still some good soil in there. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Nice brown soil, a lot of good roots. Let me just bring the camera over. Did you guys see this? Looks really good. Some really healthy roots, some good soil. So I could have left it for a little longer. So I'm gonna guess I had some yellow leaves probably because it's so thick in here it just wasn't getting enough sun and you'll see some spiders in there it was outside so of course you get the spiders but that plant is huge let me put this back and we'll get back to work okay so like i said i just don't want to break my big ones if i don't have to so I want to kind of find out where to separate those at. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try to pull some of this apart. Maybe get it into two first and work from there. And you're not going to hurt the roots. These plants can tolerate some stuff. Okay. Now is the fun where I'm tangled in. I have it separated into two. Okay. There's one and there's two. <clears throat> I would like to put these into two hanging baskets. Um, I'm not sure I can find a hanging basket right now big enough. So what I am going to do when I take this Swiss cheese plant out, I'm going to put this small one into the Swiss cheese container, put Swiss cheese into this old pot. So for right now, I'm just going to set these big things to the side. And it's afternoon here, so I got to make sure I don't set them in the sun. This is so, this is what makes gardening so much fun and having house plants. Just watching it grow. I mean, oh my gosh, it is huge. Set this one over to the side. Like I already said, I've already taken cuttings off of that um, for a friend to have a big hanging basket. So, and I've taken probably 20 cuttings off all summer for other people and just to have fun with it because us house people, we never have enough plants. So, um, there is that. Do not 
water it all the time. Let that puppy dry out. This thing is so light. Um, and I found that that works the best. So get some good medium for drainage. You really want it to drain. You don't want it to hold so, uh, a lot of moisture. Let me get all these untied. And that's why I'm putting it in the other one so that these aerial roots can grow into that post, into that pole. Um, I think it'll look better in there too. Some people have these as hanging plants. I haven't really decided that I'd like that yet, so I'm gonna let mine be a climber. Couple more to take off and then we should be able to easily, hopefully, pull this plant out. And this is pretty fresh soil, so I'm not gonna get rid of all this dirt. But you can tell how dry that is. It's dry, I mean, it's like blowing. Let that puppy dry out. I know it sounds weird because we normally water, 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 but it doesn't need it. Um, let's see. I do have holes in my pot drainage holes. We're going to set this post back in here because those aerial roots, they're going to get stuck onto that burlap is the plan. Now I do have to keep that burlap moist. Sorry about my hand in there. have to keep that soil or this uh, burlap moist or the aerial roots will not go in. So we're going to do the same kind of method. It's going to kind of dump this into there and see if the plant comes out. Like I said, I just potted this and it's been staying. I keep this one really dry, so there shouldn't be gnats or anything like that in there. It's way too dry for that. So I'm just gonna work the dirt around from the outside. And then hopefully I can get my hand on it. Oh yes. I want to show you how dry these roots are. This is what you want. These roots are super dry. The dirt around the root is super dry. Let it stay dry. If this holds moisture, your leaves are going to turn yellow. And if you keep letting it hold moisture, they're going to get black. So really let that dry out. But the roots look really good. This is, like I said, pretty much new. There's a little bit of moisture all the way in the bottom of this pot. I can tell it's a little different color, but for the most part, it is still really dry. I hope you guys can see that. So because it's new, I'm using this dirt again. that around in the bottom around my post and I'm gonna have to add some new soil in now because I'm adding new soil I am going to add some medium um, these are like just clay rocks I guess I say um, they do not hold any moisture some people put these in like water pots, things like that. I'm gonna mix this in with the dirt to make sure I keep it loose for drainage. Very important with this plant. So, my husband just loves when I buy more dirt. I think anymore he hears, I gotta go to the store for more dirt than he hears, I gotta go to the store to find a new plant and he just rolls his eyes. God's gotta love him. So, open this bag up a little bit more so we can kind of pour it in there now 
I love these. They just started selling these at Walmart. It's like compressed. It's all, well, I haven't had a wet one yet, so it's really helped with the fungus gnats. Um, a lot of people find out that they get fungus gnats, and it's because we're terrible at overwatering our plants, and moisture brings in fungus gnats. So when you're looking for dirt, wherever it is that you find your, wherever it is you buy your dirt, um, make sure it's dry. It's normally the wet bags, um, like outside in the summer, stuff like that, that are going to have your gnats. Um, and then you're going to have gnats in your house. So I've learned over the years. Now I'm going to put those little clay beads in that I showed you. I'm going to mix those in with the dirt. Like I said, I want to make sure this drains really well or I will risk yellow leaves from overwatering. Don't worry, we all do it. But trying to prevent it. So now the fun part is untangling this. So there's one. I'm gonna put him in kind of deep. And he is not getting watered after this. Normally I will water plants um, shortly after I pop them. Because he likes staying so dry, he is not getting watered. Um, right now I'm just kind of watching him to see if he's gonna give me a sign of like his leaves getting droopy um, and until his leaves get droopy or I see a crazy change he is not getting watered and it's hard it's hard not to water him but I just keep telling myself I want him to look good don't water him all right and our last one of the three and I'm just making a big hole with my hand in the dirt and putting his roots in there there's nothing special about it. His roots can handle a little bit of a beating. Move the dirt around him again. Now I did mess up. I should have watered this moss or this burlap pole before I put these in here. It made it a whole lot easier um, because I do need that wet. So I'll have to spray that later um, with a spray bottle get that wet. I'm not going to wet the whole plant, which is why I won't take the hose to it, because then this soil is going to get wet, and I'm going to have an ugly plant again. So I should have did that at the beginning. Sometimes we just get ahead of ourselves. But that's okay. I'm going to top it off with some fresh soil. Once again, all dry soil. Very, very important. I can't say it enough with this Swiss cheese. Um, do not overwater them. Like he is super dry. <laughs> Normally if a plant is this dry, I'm saturating it, I'm soaking it really good. Not him. It's actually kind of nice. Eliminates a plant. Because trust me, I have tons of them. I'm gonna um, upload a video here one of these days of some of the plants I've taken into the garage to get ready for winter. Fall's here now um, and last week or this past weekend we had some chances of frost so my family helped me move them all into the garage. I moved a couple of my favorite ones into the house already um, so I am planning on making a post here soon about that. So for right now, because my aerial roots are not in the burlap, I am going to have to use some twist ties um, and tie this up. But the ultimate goal is to get this burlap nice and wet, and then as this grows, the aerial roots are going to connect into the burlap, and it should just grow on its own. I shouldn't have to tie it up every time. That's the goal. Now there are moss poles and things you can get. They probably do work a little bit better 
um, just because there's more for the roots to get into. I think it's looser, things like that. Um, but I've used burlap in my vegetable garden and roots have grown through it. So um, I had it laying around. That's why I'm using it. So there's nothing, there's not going to be anything pretty about this right now, um, but it's always the end goal. Right now it's just going to get done and then we're going to wait for it to grow. And then hopefully it will fill out this whole pole and then I can take some cuttings and have some more. Um, now you see a lot of this bare root or bare stem. Uh, these will get new shoots on them and produce new leaves. It's just going to take a while. Like I do have one on here. It's very small, so I'm not going to bring it up. Um, but it will get new shoots. Just going to kind of cover it up a little bit so it doesn't look so so naked. I'm naked in the back, so I'm going to put him back here. And this is all just preference. He's going to be to where he's exposed on all sides. So I'd like him to fill out on all sides. If I had him up against the wall, I'd just fill him, make him look cool in the front. I think this little one right here, I don't know, I might let him hang. How's he look? No, he needs to go up. Put him like right there. I don't get these too tight. Actually, I think this one I'm going to just not put around the post. I'm just going to put on some of the other vines, this twist tie, just enough to hold them up. But don't get them tight. As they grow, their stems are going to get thicker and you don't want to cut them off. So that's all with him right now, other than watching him grow. Swiss cheese, do not overwater. Um, let him dry out. He is better to dry out. Um, always remember that with this plant. I guess that's the most important part. I know it doesn't look pretty now, but over time he's going to fill out and look beautiful. Um, so that's all with him. He is done. And then later I will spray down his burlap so that his aerial roots can get in there. All right. I am going to reuse this pot and I'm not cleaning it because it's not dirty or it doesn't look dirty. It's been in the house most of the time. Um, I'm going to put some new soil in here and I am going to put one part of that golden photos in here and then the other one's going to wait until I find a hanging pot um, big enough for him. So wish me luck on that. break his roots up anymore. I'm just going to stick him in here and put dirt around him. And he is only going to be facing one way in the house. You're only going to see him from one side. So I'm going to let that back close up. I'm not going to have anything hanging off the back end. I am going to have to break some of his roots up on the bottom. See, he's not fitting very well. Now, if you happen to break off some of your stems, you can either water propagate them or you can just stick them right into the soil. Um, either way should work. I pretty much soil everything um, for propagation because I struggle with water propagation. So just find out what works for you and go that route. And we're gonna kind of 
shove him in there. Gosh, he's big. I didn't realize he was that big. I guess I thought this pot was bigger than that. Gonna stick in there from when he was little. Like I said, you're gonna break leaves off. Not a big deal. He's this full. You can lose a couple leaves. get a fresh pot of soil. He's going to love it. All right. I think he might be in deep enough now. He might make it in this container depending on how he grows in the house for maybe a month. And then I'm probably going to have to actually divide him more. Um, there's just nothing you do about it. So, and I don't want to get him in too big of a pot in the house. And then come next summer, I'll put him in a big pot again, like the one we just took him out of, because it's so much fun going out and seeing all the new growth. But just know the size that you're putting him in, in the house, like the spot, like how much room do you have in that spot? Um, and then decide how big you want your plant from there and how big you want your pot. I'm actually running out of room in the house. <laughs> um, doesn't stop me from buying more flowers though, more plants. So right now I'm just filling the sides. His sides are empty or not full. The middle's full. Let me turn him a little bit. So far, I'm pretty impressed. I've only broken, I think, two leaves off of this one. Like I said, as long as I don't break the big stem, I'm, I'll be happy. Just pack this in around the edges because I didn't have any dirt there from the, the plant. So pack in his edges so he has new dirt for the roots. Nothing special. And he's not near as full, but that's okay. So his back, nothing hanging off, just this. And I want that to kind of fill out over the top. Um, now, I am going to have to decide because the shelf he's going to be sitting on doesn't have room for a vine this long. So I may cut him here and then stick this in the soil. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do that. And when I, when I cut, I just go up to the leaf in front. And then I like having all this space. All these little nodes are gonna create aerial roots. I'm gonna stick this whole thing from here down into the soil. That should give me three new places for roots. And like I said, I want it in the front. See if I can get it stuck in there without breaking the stem. Might have to move some of that dirt. Get it down in there. Now, if you are putting in a photo um, right into the soil after cutting it, that spot does need watered. He's still a bit long, but I don't want to cut him yet. I kind of like to sit here. <laughs> my husband will laugh. I'll sit here and I'll just look at my plants for a couple hours trying to decide what I think I'll really like. Don't hesitate to do that. Let me tell you, there are so many people that laugh at me and call me the crazy plant lady and I've come to accept it because um, I love doing it and if you love doing something then do it who cares what people think um, this is my one like time that I can just be at peace and something about watching plants grow and getting my hands in the dirt makes me feel whole I don't know how to explain it but no matter what it is that you love, just do it. 
who cares what people say so I am the crazy plant lady I've accepted that finally so I am going to cut this one I'm gonna cut him there like I said I like a little bit more than this if I put this leaf in the dirt he's gonna rot I'm gonna lose that one anyway so I'm cutting him off and I'm gonna cut this one off you can cut them off or you can actually just bend them backwards sometimes they snap easily a lot of times they don't snap easily and then I end up breaking the whole stem so for me I like to cut it I'm gonna put that in the dirt just like that that'll give me one two three hopefully that it can root off of once again I'm gonna have to loosen some of the side dirt to really get that stem in there Okay, because I cut him so short, I think I am going to cut this one in half right now. Maybe to there. Once again, let me see if I can show you how to break it off without the scissors. Just take this, bend it back. New ones, they're hard to come off. If you have a yellow leaf, um, you can just pull them right off that way that I showed you. Just bend it back this whole part will come off if the um, leaf is yellow. So once again, I got one, two, three, put that in the soil. And I want everything in the front. I think as he grows out he's going to look really good hopefully some of these will turn to face the light if not after it grows a while I might just cut this stem off I'm not really a big fan of some of its leaves actually I'm just gonna pull that leaf off I don't even like it and that one and that's because it came from that big mother plant um, and it didn't it didn't get the sunlight that it needed because it was so crowded and compact so we're gonna let this grow um, like I said water it water it good um, this plant when you water I soak them um, you can bottom water which is sitting the plant in water and letting it soak the water up from the roots if I do that <coughs> excuse me I will let it soak up enough water to have weight to the container or to where I can barely see the top of the dirt getting dark um, showing that there's water in it if I water from the top I will slowly pour water on here, a ton of water, um, until water comes out the holes in the bottom, and there are holes in this pot as well, until the water comes out, and then this plant I let dry completely out in between waters. Um, it can handle that, and you'll also notice that your leaves will start to curl, they'll start to droop when it needs water. Um, if you overwater, you can catch this one a little bit faster than the Swiss cheese that we just did. Um, you will still get some yellow leaves if you overwater. Um, normally it's like in the inside, the new ones that will get yellow. Just pick those off and wait longer to water. This plant is really resilient. Uh, it can handle a lot. So good water, let dry. Um, that is gonna be all for today. I gotta find a hanging basket for the big boy over here. Let me give you one last look at him. This is the big one. Um, I want to get him a nice hanging basket. I don't want to cut any, and I can't even get him completely in the picture. I don't want to cut any of his stems. I want him to be nice and long. Um, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching, you guys.